AliExpress and Taobao are a perfect source for small, compact PC cases that have one design choice in common. A side panel that's easy to mount with just four screws. I recently wanted to do some modification for my SGPC K59 PC case and I thought that custom side panel might be a good idea. It would satisfy my desire to tinker with stuff while still being not very difficult to do. Back in the day I already did similar project with a side panel for Metalfish S5, so I already have a little bit of experience. My inspiration for this project was this Reddit post with this Ghost as Loki, Ghost S1 top cover. It looks absolutely sick with this dark walnut color and with this pattern. And I would like to replicate that design on my side. So welcome to this tutorial. Maybe this will inspire you to do something on your own. I plan to do my own custom panel for cheap Chinese PC case. I plan to use an old SketchUp 2017 version. Why? Because it's free, it's working and it's easy to use. One of its cool features is that it has a 30-day trial that will let you export your project into DWG or DXF, which are the formats that are used in CNC machining if you want to send in, send into laser cutting or any other well, CNC machining. And if you're in a situation like me, so your trial already expired, it's actually quite easy to install this function using a community-made plugin, so you're not missing out on any features. If you still plan to use SketchUp Web for, this, for your work, it's fine. You can actually do this and follow this tutorial. I think only the short shortcuts might be keyboard shortcuts might be might be a little different, but apart from that, it's still one by one comparison. Uh, one thing, if you want to export this, SketchUp Web in in its free tier won't allow you to do this, but you're able to download your project as a SketchUp. 2017 version, import this in your desktop software and then export it from your desktop. So you only use your desktop for exporting and whole work will be done, the actual work will be done in SketchUp Web. Okay, so first you have to start with carefully measuring your side panel or panel you want to copy. Keep in mind that you need to add your mounting holes, so you need to measure how uh, far from the edges are they. Also apply some margins to just limit your workspace. Uh, and by more workspace I mean the actual place where you're going to put your design on the, on the side panel. And small disclaimer, if you plan to put this, if you plan to send this to some laser cutting, keep in mind that there are some limit physical limitations to the project. So I actually asked the company that's going to laser cut my project, uh, what are the smallest holes I can cut, or the, what are the limitations of spacing just to be able to do some physically viable design. Keep that in mind. So first start removing the MakerBot dummy object, set up your camera to no perspective and top view. Then draw the rectangle, which is going to match the measurements you took from the physical, the actual side panel you want to copy. During drawing you can type in with semicolon height and press enter to automatically draw rectangle with specified dimensions. Then use measure tool to draw lines that will be your guidelines for placing mounting holes. You're going to place them on intersections of each line Mine have a radius of 2 mm, so I'm going to draw uh, 2 mm circles inside every um, intersection. Then inside each circle you have to select the plane inside and delete it using delete key. This will make an actual hole in your design. Again using measure draw another guidelines and another lines that will actually limit your workspace. All design will happen inside them. 
Keep in mind to make your workspace as even as possible, so make it dividable by 10, 5, whatever. It will make it much, much easier to place actual holes, uh, ventilation holes in your side panel. So let's just move to actual design. By trial, trial and error, I figured out the best um, hole size for this. So every hole spacing between holes will be four millimeters and each hole will be nine millimeters wide and we'll see how we'll see where this leads us so first draw a rectangle then delete it its inside to make it an actual hole select all the edges group them and make the component out of them it will make it much much easier to manage it in the future Then I will try to multiply this component. So first I uh, I press M to go to move moving uh, tool. Then I click the edge I want to move, and I press Control, which is an which is an option called Move and Copy. I type in uh, how much I want to move the how oh sorry sorry how much I want to move and copy the new object and press enter and after that I press X 12 it makes it it makes 12 copies of my object I actually like this and it has very nice small rectangle on the bottom so I'll keep this as my design I delete all the things that are not necessary and I also have to of course redraw the small rectangle to make it appear I do the same thing with it, so uh, I delete its insides, uh, group group it, and make it another co make another compo component out of it. I make another component out of all these rectangles just to make them easier to manage and copy them and after that I rotate them 100 degrees to make another column. Of course spacing between each hole is as I already told 4 millimeters. Once I have two columns, I can safely use copy and move again to create pattern of holes across all my working area. Once it's done, I can safely uh, move to creating a round corners to make it a little bit aesthetically pleasing. I double click the component until I am in the right one. So the uh, I need to get into the big uh, big rectangle. I measure the correct distance for the from for the radius and using arc tool I cut uh, cut the round edges and delete all the unnecessary things. I also have to do the same thing for the smaller smaller uh, rectangle because it's a separate component. I noticed that I lost information about holes being cut, so I need to open the component and cut the 
cut the hole again. It's good that we actually use the components so this change will be in immediately propagated across all the, all the objects that we have here. Now you can export your project for CNC machining or just look at it and see how beautiful it is. But if you're in the same situation like me, so your trial expired and you cannot actually export it because you, you don't have a license, visit Guitar List. I will provide link in the description, download the plugin and put it in the correct directory. First unzip it and then put it in the right directory. After your SketchUp 200, 2017 is restarted, you will be able to export to DXF, which will be good enough uh, for uh, sending to, to laser cutting, 3D printing, etc. And this is how it looks like after laser cutting. Honestly, it looks pretty okay for me. I use 3mm uh, thick plywood, which is a bit too little, I mean it's a bit too flexible, more, definitely more flexible than the acrylic panel. It looks good, but it still needs some paint job, which I'm going to take care of in a second. I think it turned out okay, let, let me know in the comments what you think, and I go grab some paint and a brush. Take care and see you in the next one.